The Bears beat the Vikes 12 to 10. Entering the night, the Chicago Bears had lost 22, 22 straight games in which they trailed at any point in the fourth quarter. Justin Fields, 27 of 37, 217 yards. Joshua Dobbs was 22 of 35. He had a bunch yeah. of turnovers, 185 yards, four picks, four. Have three, they probably win the game easily. Two, they run away with it. Uh, but what was some of your takeaways I mean, tonight? I, listen, I love, I love both teams. I love both quarterbacks. I love Dobbs. I love Justin Fields. But it was the snooze fest. It was a snooze fest. It was a defensive game. Obviously, the interception didn't make it any better. Drop ball, drop ball, going into other other, other players' hands. Um, both sides of the ball at the half, it was 3-3. Nothing was going on. Nothing. I mean, they were, they were moving the ball somewhat efficient up and down the field, but there was no scoring. Three field goals a night? What, four, three field goals or four field goals to win the game? Four. Four field goals. Four field goals four. and a touchdown. No, actually, it was five, five field goals yeah, and a okay. touchdown. Five field goals and a touchdown. Like, come on. That's not what we signed up for, especially for a primetime game, a Monday night game, something that we all look forward to. Some Something about the slate of primetime games have been very, very boring, very, very lackluster outside of uh, – thir- was it Thursday night or was that Sunday night with, uh, with the Bills and Eagles? So, oh, you're talking about Philly? You're oh, talking about Philly, hey, Philly oh, and uh, oh, Buffalo? That was, that, was, that was That was Sunday. That was a great game. Then, that was yeah, Sunday okay, afternoon. Sunday afternoon. And then have to then have to – oh, the Sunday – I'm sorry, Sunday afternoon. Then have to, you know, be succumbed to, to the game tonight – like, you know, it, it was unfortunate. Um, Again, Dobbs, you, can, you can't win a game. You can't win a game like that. You can't turn the ball over that many times and overcome it. You preach it. You no. harp on it all the no. time about turning the ball over like that. And uh, on the other side of the ball, I mean, the Bears, the Bears played phenomenal defense. They played great defense, especially for them to turn the ball over that, for the Vikings to turn the ball over that many times. I would have liked for the Bears to have run away with this game. It shouldn't have come down to a field yeah. goal at the end. It definitely shouldn't have came down to a field goal. Yeah, I agree with you. But I think the thing was, Ocho, when you look at this game, when they set matchups for mm-hmm. Monday night, which is a right. year in advance, the Vi- I'm sure e- uh, ESPN who telecast right. the game was expecting to get Justin Kirk Cousins, Jefferson. and they were expecting a, an, okay. a Justin okay. Jefferson, and they were expecting to get a much right. improved Justin okay. Fields. And so that's what you're mm-hmm. expecting. Well, you don't always get what you expect. You right. know what I'm saying? Sometimes, hey, uh, uh, and so I think that mm-hmm. was the case. Joshua Dobbs has kind of bounced around. And I think sometimes you see, I mean, he can show you flashes, but I think tonight shows you why he's bounced around, why he's had so many stops Mm -hmm. in this league. But, uh, you know, you're asking an awful lot. A guy that's just, he's been there probably less than a month. Three weeks. So to come in and and, and play extremely well. He had Mm -hmm. flashes. He has, he Mm -hmm. has some flashes, but you got to protect the football. I mean, you're not that, you're not that good of a football Mm -hmm. team to overcome those kinds of mistakes. And um, but give their defense credit, like you said, he turned the ball over four times, and they only gave up three. Well, they only gave up three field, uh, right. four field goals. So the uh, uh, the Vikings, Danelle Hunter's having an unbelievable mm-hmm. season. Um, they still they played hard, um, but you just hard. It's hard for you to overcome those kinds of mistakes. Justin Fields, on the other hand, the turnovers again, fumble yeah. the ball yeah. twice. And, and I don't. The, <laughs> he he allowed them to get game, back into yeah. the game with that. You, you got to protect yeah. the ball. I Justin. think you know the funny thing about it is, is I think more so he's protecting the ball. If you see him, you, you can see him cover up with the ball. But the funny thing, the defensive player laying the hat in the right place at the right time, and it still came out yeah. anyway. It still came out anyway. Yeah. Them guys yeah. are really good. Them guys because the, the thing is now, Ocho wasn't so much when we. I mean, occasionally they did it, but they have drills now. They know how to yeah. punch that yeah. ball out. They'll put their helmet mm-hmm. right on the ball. So even if you got it tight. nice and tight, guys will come mm-hmm. in and punch it out. Or you trying to yeah. cover up, guys will come in and put yeah. the helmet on the side, and it mm-hmm. goes squirting out. So give those guys credit. They found a way to get the ball out uh, uh, from right. Justin Fields. And uh, it probably wouldn't even been a game if he could have held yeah. on to the ball, but it allowed Minnesota to get the ball and score a touchdown. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't the most entertaining game. But, you know, somebody uh, – I'm sure the Bears said, hold on. Um to go on the road and to Dang. win a ball game, given their history, especially in the fourth quarter, being behind at any point in time, and to find mm-hmm. a way to win the ball game, maybe that gives them some confidence. But uh, I, I thought also, now I know he's been injured with yeah. that thumb, mm-hmm. Justin Fields, but I definitely was expecting him to take yeah. that next right. step uh, uh, and get because his legs. You see what happened mm-hmm. with Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts had unbelievable mm-hmm. legs, but in the off season he got better mm-hmm. and better and better at throwing right. the football. So now 
he is a a really a right. dual threat because he can beat you right. either or. And I think that's the next step in order for mm-hmm. Justin Fields to be. And I don't I don't know I don't think he's going to be in Chicago. What? I really don't because it looks like the Carolina Panthers are going to have the number one pick, which means that's going to go to the Chicago Bears. Yeah, but oh oh, so Caleb, you think Caleb Williams? Caleb Caleb Williams Caleb Williams has a high. He's have. They're saying he's going to have one of the higher right. grades for mm-hmm. a quarterback that's come out in a right. very long time. I don't see how they pa- they passed it up once. You know, you could have had CJ Stroud. You could have had Bryce. I don't yeah. believe they do but, it again, Ocho. Because guess what you right. can do, Ocho? You can really build. I can. I can. Hey, you want Justin Fields? Who could? There are like 10, 15 teams that need right. Justin Fields. Hey, I can get another first right. round okay. pick. Plus, I'm in the top 10 myself. The Bears got their own pick. So you mean to tell me I might be able to have mm. three top 10, top 15 mm-hmm. picks? Tell me I can't build something yeah, with that, can. Ocho. You can. You can. Especially maybe I take maybe I take what maybe I take that latter uh-huh. pick for Justin mm-hmm. Fields and I trade it and get me a veteran mm. play. I mm-hmm. like I like that. I like that. But again, I'm gonna go back to what Caleb Williams said. I don't even know if he really quoted this or did he really mean to say what he said earlier about obviously whatever team drafts me, I'm going to want some type of capital in the team. Then I the NFL's not doing that. They won't right. allow that. They'll make you they 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 may they'll make you divest any part. I mean, none of they're not giving up a right. part of the team. They're not going to start right, that right, president. Right. The NFL is not one for starting right. presidents. I don't think any professional league will allow a a, a current mm-hmm. player to have an ownership right. stake right. in a team. Because remember, they made Brady. I mean, Brady had to divest. I think he tried to uh what was it the the uh uh. Oh, the Dolphins. For real? Remember they tried to run that little backdoor uh-huh. deal? That's what got everybody oh, yeah, in trouble. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Brian Flores, blue, blue, yeah. yeah. They said, oh, no, that's mm-hmm. not going to happen. You come play quarterback, we'll give you a little mm-hmm. percentage mm-hmm. of the team. We'll keep that yeah. hush, hush. No, mm-hmm. no, sir, huh? No, you're not. Yeah, but, no, but no, you no, got to no, remember, no, no. he also said, I don't know if it was him talking or maybe his family members talking. He was saying, depending on the team that would have the number one pick, I will even subject myself to going back to USC for another year if the team is that bad. Football too dangerous. Right. It's too dangerous as a game. You you going to run the risk of tearing an ACL? You're going to run the risk of breaking the leg? Or you going to take $40 million in your hands, Ocho? I just want to know what Ocho going to do. Listen, I, obviously, <laughs> obviously, you know, I, w- I would come out. But when a, when a player like that, when a player says something like that ahead of time, before they just it's time talk, to trying get to drafted, teams off. You think, you they're trying to scare teams off. You think you so? Oh, Joe, you know you be saying, do it again and see what happens. Right. You don't really want them to do it again. Right. You're really trying to scare them off and deter them from doing said what they did to begin with. Right. And I think that's what Caleb Williams, he's trying to deter. Oh, Joe, you're not going to the Cowboys. You're not going. When you're the number one pick, right. you're not going to a quality team. That's mm. the reason why they got the number one pick. If they were any good, they wouldn't have the number one pick. This is not like basketball. Basketball, the Lakers won the mm-hmm. NBA title one year mm-hmm. right. and then got James Worthy. Yeah. No, I, yeah. Yeah. They, they won the title in 82 and got James Worthy. How you do mm-hmm. that? Right. Yeah, so, that's, that's 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 totally unfair because then obviously obviously you get situations like Bryce Young. I I I'm I'm sorry yeah. to go off go off topic right no, now. No, go ahead, go ahead. We can go there. You get situations like Bryce Young where a young fella, he's the number one pick in the draft, and I love I love the Panthers. I love them on both sides of the ball, but there's really nothing for them to work with. 